There's a whole wide, wacky world out there of people trying to waffle just about anything and everything in their kitchen with various levels of success. Frittatas. Is it an omelette? Is it a frittata? Does it really matter what you call it? Either way, cooking eggs scrambled up with your favorite omelette fillings on the hot waffle iron is a clever way to serve up breakfast. The resulting eggy waffle is a handheld delight and would freeze and reheat well later in the week for a smart grab-and-go protein-filled bite. Best of all, you can drive and one-hand these bitches on the way to work. Hash browns. If you love crispy hash browns, this is the waffle iron idea for you. Shred your potatoes, place them in a clean dish towel and wring out as much of the moisture as you can. Place the shredded potatoes on a well-oiled piping hot waffle iron and press down for some serious hash brown magic. Don't feel like peeling and shredding potatoes? Well, how's this for easy? Thaw a bag of frozen tater tots and arrange in a single layer on your waffle iron, pressing down firmly to achieve delicious crispy hash browns. Hmm. I do like tater tots. Stuffing waffles. And now for an incredibly clever and drool-worthy answer to that age-old post-Thanksgiving question, what do you do with leftovers? Stick them in the waffle iron, of course. Mix your warmed leftover stuffing with additional chicken broth and two eggs. The stuffing is scooped onto the waffle iron and cooked long enough for the raw eggs to cook through and the stuffing to get browned and crunchy at the ends. Serve with hot gravy and a dollop of cranberry sauce. Stuffing waffles would also make an awesome base as the bread for a leftover Thanksgiving sandwich. Mac and cheese waffles. Looking for some more leftovers to stuff into the waffle iron? Try some mac and cheese. The easiest way to do this is just to slap the noodles on the iron and let them crisp. If you want some extra pizzazz, roll the leftover mac and cheese into balls and dredge the balls in egg wash and breadcrumbs. The mac and cheese balls are then placed on the hot waffle maker for three minutes until they're perfectly crisped. Grilled cheese. If you think of your waffle iron as the coolest panini press ever, you'll begin to imagine all the fun sandwich ideas just begging for crispy squares to be pressed into them. Start out by making a classic grilled cheese. White bread, softened butter, and your favorite cheeses. Keep it simple or build from there with more toppings. This is a great way to jazz up those grilled sandwiches for the family without breaking out the laundry equipment. Pizza waffles. You could probably describe these as more of a waffled calzone than a pizza waffle, but they look delicious either way. Pizza dough is rolled out and dropped on the hot waffle iron, then topped with your favorite pizza toppings. This would be another fantastic one for the kiddos. Just don't let those little hands get too close to that hot iron. I want you. Mother of God! Oh! Every damn time! Oh! This is a big one. Serve with some extra marinara for pizza waffle dunkers. Try making a large batch and freezing for reheating on movie night. Falafel waffles. This Middle Eastern dish isn't something you'd normally associate with a waffle maker, but surprise, it's actually awfully easy to whip up a tasty falafel waffle. No more falafel for you! <laughs> You start with a classic falafel recipe using chickpeas, herbs, and spices. Use a box mix if you want. Everything comes together in the food processor and then transfers to the hot, oiled waffle iron until nicely browned and crisp. Top your waffle with a tahini dressing and enjoy. Cookie waffles. There's no shame in instant cookie dough, especially when those balls of gloopy goodness are so easy to cook up in a waffle maker. The best part is you don't even need to make a lot. Sometimes all you really need is two or three or four cookies to satisfy that sweet tooth. Okay, maybe a few more. <laughs> even better, these waffle cookies are the perfect size and shape to top with fruit or a sweet dessert sauce. Wonuts. Have you tried a Wonut yet? This delectable hybrid of a donut and a waffle is the brainchild of the folks at the now shuttered Chicago's Waffles Cafe, who took the world and the internet by storm in 2014 with their trend-setting creation. Belgian waffle batter is prepared and cooked on the waffle iron, but then the waffle is fried like a donut and covered in all manner of donut glazes and toppings. You can even dip it in a gallon of chocolate like a crazy person. It's a Wonut. There are no rules.